Hey everyone, this is John Garrett from hypertransitory.com and this is a short Illustrator tutorial on uh, creating a stroke and adding a stroke to a raster item in your Illustrator file. So uh, this is something that you think would be uh, fairly simple, especially in 2010 and I'm using Illustrator CS4 here and I'm pretty sure this is the same in CS5 but uh, feel free to leave a comment if, if I'm wrong but it's very difficult to to add a stroke to a um, to a raster or I, sh I guess I shouldn't say very difficult but it's very annoying um, to do this so let me just show you what I'm talking about here and I have a, a raster here somewhere there it is so I'm just gonna bring this raster into this illustrator file and so alright I got this file let, let me just let me just show you if I get a box here and I've got a I've got a color and a stroke on this as you can see uh, no big deal. This is everyday Illustrator uh, stuff here. Let me let me increase the size of that. No problem. I mean that's a vector, and I can do that uh, you know all day long with no problems. But let's say I want to add a stroke onto this raster image that I just brought in here. Well, I mean first thing you can see is these colors aren't affected. Uh, there's really nothing that's happening here. I've got a stroke weight of six apparently. Um, but where is it? I, I don't see a stroke no matter up to a hundred point. Where's my stroke? It's not there. And uh, it's not as intuitive as it should be. By this point you should be able to just click here and, and put a stroke on it you think. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Um, you have to kind of go through a couple of steps here to get that done. Uh, before what you had to do was let's say that you know I need strokes on all my images blah blah blah. Uh, what I have to do I go to my transform palette here and okay, this is the size of my image. And I go to my box here, and and let's say 7.26 by 4.8367. All right, so that's the same size as my raster image. I want to get rid of the the uh, red color, and so let's line these up. All right, now I got a stroke. It's sitting on top of that that image, but now I got to always make sure that I keep those together. Uh, I can group them together. Um, I mean, it, it's very annoying. Now I got more objects to keep track of. So that is the workaround that's been in place for ages. Um, but here's a way that you can make a stroke on this raster image without having to um, put a box on top of it. So the first step you're going to have to do, select your image, and you're going to go to the appearance palette. So open that up. And what you're going to do is use the fly out menu here and you're going to say add new stroke. Okay, so I got a stroke here. A stroke is showing there. Looks all good, except there's no stroke. Well, you have to uh, then go under the effect menu, go down to path, and kind of counterintuitively you have to say outline object. Now, the first thing you're going to do is go to stroke, but that's wrong. You have to go to outline object and thus allow the object to be outlined with a stroke. So I'm going to say outline object and then you'll see that hey I got a stroke here now and there it is it's showing up and it's right on that raster I can go to my stroke uh, palette here kick that up to 10 and it's working as it should work you know it's not the end of the world to have to do this but it is very annoying and really there's no reason for it what I've done in the past is is I've taken my graphic styles uh, palette uh, wherever that is here it is and then you can you can drag this into your palette and you know let's say I brought a, that raster in again and then I don't want to go through all that crap I can then click on the graphic style and just put the put the stroke on whatever raster I've got over and over again so it's always kind of handy to have that graphic style palette. But here's the thing. I mean, Adobe's kind of dropped the ball on Illustrator over and over again. And wouldn't you think that at this point you could just pick your raster and then select a color for your stroke or add, add it. And, you know, why can't they take these steps and, and program it into a button or something? It's kind of annoying. And that's just one of the many um, things that Adobe has, has kind of dropped the ball on with Illustrator. Illustrator is kind of the redheaded stepchild of uh, of the Adobe family, as uh, people who use it know full well. So um, I guess uh, hopefully that that will show you how to uh, 
how to get around that annoying problem. And um, and from now on, you can uh, go ahead and stroke your rasters with uh, impunity. So uh, hope that helps. And thanks for watching. Till next time.